I get asked all the time, what is WISH and how does it work? So today we're covering that in this video. WISH is an SSH server that allows you to make your apps accessible over SSH. You use different middlewares to define what capabilities are available to the users. This is different from the open SSH server process that we're used to connecting to when we say SSH. When we're connecting to a Wish app, you're using the open SSH client, which is the SSH command that usually comes pre-installed on a lot of systems. That SSH command that you're using to connect is the open SSH client. But what we're used to doing when we are trying to get a secure shell access to a remote machine, you're connecting to the SSHD process, which is the open SSH server process. In this case, we are creating our own server process that's running on a server. And this server process is Wish, which is serving some kind of application, and it's just using the SSH protocol. There are a lot more layers to the SSH protocol than just what's made available with OpenSSH. You could actually say that what's happening is more similar to a website than what we're used to with SSH. It's serving a certain app that's running on a certain port and making that interface accessible from a, another user's machine. For example, when you're running a React app, that is your application in which the capabilities and access to the server is limited to whatever the capabilities are of that application. When someone connects to that, they are not getting access to the server, they are getting access to the app that's running on port 3000. Similarly, when you're doing something like this with Wish, you're serving your application over a certain port that's running on your server. And with the SSH middleware in Wish, you get to define what specific capabilities the user has access to. Let me give you an example. If you've seen SoftServe, which you can actually try for yourself if you run ssh git.charm.sh in your own terminal, you'll see that there's either a TUI or a CLI. Let me first dive into why you might wanna serve a TUI over SSH. What's nice about this is that your state remains consistent across different machines. You can connect to this remote server, the state is as is on the server. Any kind of functionality that you would want from a web application, you can achieve with a very similar setup with a Wish application. With a CLI, you can actually run these CLI commands the same way as if you had that application installed locally on your machine. So if you have some different scripts where you need to do something with this CLI, you can actually just port it over SSH and have it accessible as if you're running it locally on your machine. Let me explain this with SoftServe as the example. The SoftServe TUI gives you an incredible interface to be able to actually look and interact with your repositories. You can see what the activity has been, you can see the history, and you can see all of the repos that you're hosting on your Git server. The CLI is primarily used for administrative purposes. So if you wanna create a new repo, you wanna add new users, any of that stuff you can actually do using the SSH command. I will include a little snippet of what that might look like. What's really cool is that both of these processes are available, they're running on the same port. It's actually the middleware for each process. So we've got one middleware to serve the Bubble T application. We've got another middleware that's actually serving the Cobra CLI. The best part is that you also have the SSH protocol backing this application so you can do all of your user authentication with SSH keys, meaning that anyone else in your team that you might wanna add, you can add their public key and then they'll be able to create new repos or access any other repos that you might want. I hope this helps give you some new ideas on what you actually can do with the SSH protocol. I hope it helps demystify a little bit on how Wish actually works and what's happening when you're connecting to or serving a Wish application. I'm gonna put up here something cool that we've been working on as a team. Click it, I'll see you the next time.